going on everybody rob here aka trev 2323 today i'm gonna go off of this uh digital uh caliper digital caliper i was calling it a micrometer i don't know what a micrometer is i was calling it that but it's a digital caliper and what it is is it's kind of a ruler like if you got a, a round object like say for instance uh, uh, uh your exhaust pipe and you don't know what size the exhaust pipe is gonna go onto your car or you got a uh, man i can't even get this out or you got a uh, for me, my instance is I have a 1973 wheel horse and my wheel horse was made and swapped out since it's 73. A lot of people swapped out the axle shafts. Well, I got a leaky bearing in my axle shaft. So what I'm, 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 I'm unboxing this right now, it's hard as heck to come out. So this is what it is right here. A digital caliper right here. Uh, let's see, accuracy within 0.01 inch, 0.02 millimeters. And it says the battery on it. Now here's on off right here, on off right there. And then when it's all the way closed, it's zeroed out. And then at the top you have the inches and the millimeters. So I wanna show you with this, there's two measurements on here. The bottom one is for the outside and the top one is for the inside measurement. So I gotta measure my caliper on my, this is so hard because I have to do it one way and show you. So what you're going to do is you're going to open it up and it's on millimeters right now and close it as much as you can and it's going to show you the millimeters for the axle shaft or you hit the inches and that's 1.41 inches if you can see that there. Okay, so now what's cool about this, this is showing you the size. Now if you take it all the way out to the outside of the bottle, that's saying it's 2.35 inches or 59.7 millimeters. So this is how you could gauge your axle shaft or your pipes or your exhaust pipes or your house pipes. But this is what's cool right here. Let me close it up. There's a little bit of tension on it so it don't slide freely. It actually holds. So say you open up this right here and now you need the inside diameter because I need bearing seals. So what you do is you open this up on the inside and this is 24 millimeters inside diameter and then you flip it over I'm trying to hold it where you can see it then you flip it over 33.25 millimeters on the outside so you get the outside and the inside but i need to go by inches so you close it and then you bring it all the way dead center and it's 0.98, I don't want this Gatorade to fall on me. It's 0.98 inches, 0.97 inches. And then the outside will be 1.24 inches. So it gives you the inside and the outside diameter digitally. So for my bearing seals on the wheel horse, I gotta pull the whole uh, axle shaft off. And it's not the bearing seal, it's the axle seal. It's the axle seal. So I gotta pull the hub off and then I gotta measure because there's one inch axles, one and one eighth inch axles, one and one quarter inch axles. So I gotta measure the actual axle itself. But then after I measure the axle, it'll let me know the dimensions of the axle. And then I can actually put this on the outside of the seal around the axle. I can put this on the outside of the seal and it'll tell me the inner diameter and the outer diameter of the seal. But I just didn't know if people knew what this top part was and this top part is actually to get the inside diameter and then this is to get the outside diameter and that's uh it's called a digital caliper i was calling it a micrometer a micrometer i think are the ones with the shape like a c all right either way talk to you later subscribe like and share